Praise God. Welcome to today's devotion. It's only two days to New Year. Imagine, only two days to a New Year, to 2022. And so it's amazing uh, to see how the Lord has been faithful to us. And even those who will listen and watch this in the future, we are thanking God. We are celebrating uh, the faithfulness of God because the Lord has been there for us from January the 1st this year up to today. And so we have a reason to worship and to praise him uh, today. Let's pray together. Loving Jesus, we thank you so much for accepting to come and be born in this world and uh, live in this world and, and um, teach us your word and even allow yourself to, to be crucified for our sake so that we can live and become uh, part and parcel of your kingdom. And so we are here to listen to your word. We pray that you minister to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so we are at that time of the year when we are looking forth uh, to 1st of January, to the, you know, to new year and we thank god because it's amazing it's um, a joy to see that despite the fact that it has been a difficult year despite the fact that we have gone through different you know different things here and there it has been a difficult year when it uh, in terms of you know covid-19 uh, for them that will listen to this maybe 20 years to come uh, COVID-19 is a virus that came into this world. This is the second year, uh, the third year that we are going through this phase of having a virus. And so despite the fact that we have gone through that, and um, because of that, there has been financial challenges, there has been um, uh, emotional challenges, people have gone through different difficult, uh, different challenges. Despite all that, the Lord has been faithful. The Lord has been, uh, uh, has been with us from one place to another and another. And so today's topic is about praising God. And the topic is God's everlasting reign. And we are going to read Psalms 145 from verse 1 through to verse 13. I will exalt you, my God, the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to another. They will tell of your mighty acts. They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will med meditate on your wonderful works. They will tell of the power of your awesome works. And I will proclaim of your great deeds. They will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyful, joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All of you, all of you have made all, all you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is everlasting kingdom, and your dominion dominion and you us through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all who, to all his promises and loving towards all he has made. Praise the word of the Lord. And so, um, you know, this is my song because I began this year, um, my family and I began this year at a very difficult place at a place where we didn't know how it was going to be 
We didn't know how we were going to make it. We didn't know how we will, you know, sail through because of the challenges, because of what we were going through as a family. And, uh, and you know, we were at that place where we, we were in that valley of the shadow of death. But looking back, the Lord has been so faithful. He saw us through. We made it. How? We do not know. One thing we know is that the Lord saw us through. The Lord has, you know, I can identify with what the psalmist David is, is saying that I will extol him because of his mighty works, because I have seen his faithfulness. And so children of God, today the Lord is calling us to a place of putting everything aside and praising him for who he is and worshiping him and thanking him for who he is. And so I want to challenge you that today as a as you look into this, would you put everything aside, put everything aside and allow the Lord to, and just thank God and, I, and just take an audit. I invite you to a place of taking an audit uh, over your life, over your family. And as you take that audit, you will, you will appreciate the faithfulness of God. You will see how the Lord has been there for you. That one time you were supposed to be in danger, but the Lord protected you. That you know you, you, you got exposed, exposed to this virus, and yet you never got it because the Lord protected you. That you have no job, and yet you have never slept hungry. You have never slept outside because the Lord has been there for you, that you are a single woman, that you are a widower, you are a widow, and the Lord has been there for you. He has strengthened you. He has given you capacity, capability to bring up your children that you know you are, you are, be, you are bereaved, maybe not only by one person, by a number of your family members this year, but the Lord has been there to strengthen you, that you know you have gone through that sickness and the Lord has strengthened you. How you have made it, you don't know. And the reason why you don't know is because the presence of the Lord has been there for you. And so I invite you to take a audit of your life and begin to write the faithfulness, the blessings in which the Lord has blessed you with. And you will realize that there are so many. And that is why the writer of the hymn, Count Your Blessings, uh, wrote and say that, you know, you will count... You know, there are so many, one by one. And by the way, you can never exhaust them because there are so many. And that is what the psalmist in this psalm, who happens to be David, is talking about. You know, it's a psalm of praise, a psalm of thanksgiving. Because many times we got caught up, we get caught up by, you know, there is a way the devil depresses us every day. And I want to encourage you. And I want to, you know, to challenge you not to be a person who goes to the media every, you know, the first, you know, because many times when the people wake up, they, the first thing they do is to go to the media, either social media or mainstream media to see what is happening. And if that is a place where the devil, uh, you know, takes an opportunity to depress us, to frustrate us. And so many times, Christians or many people begin their day by getting frustrated, by being depressed by what is happening in the country, in the world, in their family, in their lives. And uh, instead, and so once they begin their day like that, the next thing that happens is that they will be complaining, they will be hurting, they will be discouraged, they will be hopeless, they will be full of doubt because the Lord has already, uh, because the devil has already stolen them and killed their faith and, uh, and, and destroyed their salvation. And so men and women, the Lord is calling us to a place of taking an audit of, of our lives. And we will realize that there is so much of God's blessings in our lives. And so we need to stop everything and praise God and worship him because of his greatness, because of who he is in our lives, that he is the king of kings, that he is sovereign, he is above everything he created heaven and earth, that he is so good that even while we were still sinners, 
The Lord Jesus died. You know, he came to this world and saved us. And, you know, he came as our Messiah to save us even when we were still sinners because of his goodness. And so that song of the goodness of the Lord, it's my prayer that you will sing that song and say that I will praise because of the goodness of the Lord in my life. Thank God, worship God because of his glory, because of... Um, of, his, of, of how he has guaranteed us that he will be there for us, that he will hold our hands, that he will walk with us, that he will watch over us, that he will protect us, that he will provide for us. Hasn't he told us that he will be with us till the end? Hasn't he, haven't we seen him? from the time we were born up to now. He has been there for us. He has watched over us. He has prov provided for us. He has always made a way for us Then we have. And so because of that, we have a reason to worship him. We have a reason to thank him even because of his grace, which has been sufficient uh, to us. And so today in this remaining part of the year, as we count hours uh, to New Year, as we count hours, whichever part of the day that you will be listening to this, whichever date of the year, whichever year that you will be listening to this, I want to encourage you to take an audit and see the faithfulness of God. You could be at hospital and, uh, and, and, and thinking that the Lord has forgotten you. The Lord has not forgotten you. It would have been worse. And that is why, you know, it, the Lord cares for you so much. That is why you are under professional uh, medics who are taking care of you. The Lord loves you so much, and that's why you have finances for, to be treated. The Lord loves you so much, and that's why you are still breathing in and out, because he loves you. And so let this remaining part of the year be a time of thanksgiving, be a time of praise. You know, David, he said that I was young, and now I'm really old, and I have never seen the Lord lives, living his own in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so, loving Father, we are here to worship you. We are here to praise you for who you are in our lives. We are here to glorify you because you are a Father who never fails. You are a Father who... who answers our prayers. You are a father who makes a way where there is no way. You are a father who never forsakes his own. You are a father who heals our diseases. You are a father whose name is Jehovah Jireh, a God who provides. You are a father who is our banner. You are a father who is ever present. And so we have a reason to worship you. We have a reason to adore you. We have a reason to lift your name on high. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for for your goodness. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you for your, your, your mercies which are new every morning. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for your care. Thank you for your saving grace. We worship you this morning and we praise you. Teach us to be a people who worships you in season and out of season. Teach us to live a life of thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and scatter every darkness from before your path. And the blessings of God, the Almighty Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen.